outside. I know you don't usually get to see my face in the beginning of this video, um, but I just decided, hey, I'm gonna do something a little different. So we have a ton to get through today. Um, I remember when I very first started making these videos and I would just remember trying to like pray, okay, I hope I have enough to get through a whole, to make a whole video. Um, and now it seems like I have too many to make a whole video. I have to like try to get through all of them because I don't like cutting anybody out. Um, and I have to definitely start them like on Tuesday rather than wait till Wednesday. So I'm going to be doing what I have done the past couple weeks and trying to get that link and that post up for you guys on Monday. That way, um... I can start working on the video today because back when I would only have like 10 to 15 of them it would take me about six hours to do this video so now that I have like double that it takes even longer so my um, rambles about each one probably won't be as long anymore because I am trying to get through them um, so I did want to say thank you so much you guys for participating in this video because I can't make this video without you I really couldn't. I know it's going to get really bad lighting, but it's nighttime, y'all. I'm outside. This is what we call the fire lane in our apartment. It's just like this this road, um, and it kind of goes in the middle of all the apartments. Um, and we our apartment is like right on it. Anyways, I have not had a moment's peace <laughs> in a very long time, and I know you mothers out there, even roommates and everybody it, 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 we're all feeling the cramped feeling of like not having any time to ourselves so I'm out walking around by myself I don't even have a dog with me right now because I didn't want to have to deal with that either I'm like you know what I'm just gonna walk I'm just gonna walk up and down the fire lane for a little bit um and work on my video so that's what I'm gonna do so um I will try to keep my voice down to a normal octave this time so that I'm not like being noisy out here because it is past 10 um so if that's why it sounds like I'm talking a little different that would be why um I have a hard time being quiet you all know that so we should probably get started though so I can get through all of these and get this video up at a good time for you guys tomorrow so let's get started so we're starting out with Nicole's and this one, the title of it is Beauty and the Beast. It is a 50 by 70 and it has 33 colors in it. It is from Home Craftology. Uh, the price starts at $24.99, but obviously the larger you go, the more it is. So this one cost her $59.99 and it is a round, um, but you can also choose square on the site. So um, it took about two weeks to get to her but that was before the virus, you guys. So obviously now we know everything is taking a little bit longer. She says, lots of white, but I'm loving how it's turning out. I completely agree. I love how this is turning out. Like, I don't know if this is the right word, but this is what comes to my head. It's like neat and clean. Like, because of all the white and everything, it just looks so clean and like well put together if that makes sense um i love how the pink just pops off the page page it um it gives that like 3d kind of effect to it i just love it and y'all know like my favorite color is pink so i'm gonna love this and beauty and the beast is one of my all-time favorite movies so i can't wait to see the other half of this done but holy cow we all talk about living the 310 life think about this one i believe it's 3865 totally guessing on that something around there though and she is living the life Laura is just now starting this one um, it's a custom of her niece it is a round full drill it's a 50 by 50 and there are 31 colors she got it somewhere from Amazon um, which is pretty broad because there's a ton of Amazon stores that sell diamond paintings. Um, it just seems like more and more places are starting to pop up that sell them. As, as, as the craft gets more popular, the more stores we start seeing. Um, so I'm not exactly sure what particular um, store this is from, but it is on Amazon. And she got, about 20, or she got it for $25 and it took about three weeks to receive. So not too bad, guys. Three weeks is, is a heck of a lot better than what usually expect. What is the right word? 
I'm thinking perspire, but that's not the word <laughs> um, that I'm thinking. But that's usually what happens when we get it from like an AliExpress store. It takes at least three weeks anyway. So $25 for a 50 by 50 custom, not bad. I will be um, really anxious to know if this one um, turns out well. I don't know... Um, anything more. I don't even know how much she has done. So we will just hopefully see a progression next week and we'll have some more answers. Okay, so Yolanda is working on this one. It is Flum. Flum. See, guys, I am not talking well lately. I keep mixing up my letters and words and jumbling them all up like it's a word jumble or something trying to come out my mouth. This one is from Fipart um, and it was $10.99 and that is a store on Amazon. It is a 40 by 30. This is her first ever diamond painting you guys. She says I am so excited. Um, I am so excited for you. Think back those of us veterans think back um what at your very first diamond painting do you remember that like excitement when you first laid that drill down and you just instantly fell in love with the craft like I remember mine it was from diamond dots I got it at Hobby Lobby because I didn't want to wait for my order to get here and it was that really beautiful like rainbowy almost effect of a hummingbird and I fell in love with the craft instantly and started buying more. So Yolanda, congratulations. Welcome to the addiction because trust me girl, it is real. Um, so please keep us updated not only on your painting but how you're doing and if you have any questions, um, Facebook groups are wonderful. YouTube channels are obviously wonderful to ask questions and gain that knowledge. All right, guys, she is upstaging all of us. Okay, Emma did this one again. Do you remember the one she did last time that it was the, um, she had it on a poster board and it was a rainbow effect of one of them. It was so beautiful and I was so impressed by that. But now um, you can take that impression and times it by a hundred because I am freaking blown away. I actually, when I first saw this, shook my head in amazement. I was just like, are you kidding me, Emma? Like what? You should be making diamond paintings. Um, this is again, it's on a poster board and I'm just gonna read you what she wrote. So she said, hi Beth, I'm making a rainbow peacock design. I've got so many spares, I want to use them up. The big gems I colored in pen as they needed to be different colors. I decided to use black square drills in the black in the background as the peacock has so much on it. Plus, have so much black. I have not I'm not sure if squares can go with rounds. I use sparklers for the branches. Girl, when you're making your own diamond painting up, I say you can use any kind of shape you want. It's totally up to you. And yes, squares can definitely go with rounds. Sometimes the, the size can be a little bit of an issue because rounds are actually bigger than the squares are. Um, but this is beautiful. So beautiful. I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you guys can really just like take it in how beautiful this really, really is. The entire background is going to be drills, guys. All of it. So this is actually a pretty good size diamond painting, but she's doing it all by hand. All by hand. She drew this. It's amazing. I, I, I bow down to you. You are the queen of making up diamond paintings with your spares and you're not even using like a blank canvas you're just using a poster board and freehanding it oh Emma you are amazing thank you thank you for sharing this this next one is being worked on by Jody. Um, the title is Birds and Butterflies. The size is 120 by 80. This comes from AliExpress and she paid $64.51. I'm not exactly sure where um, because we all know there's like 100,000 um, stores on AliExpress that sell diamond paintings and I'm probably not even exaggerating at that number but this one is I think I can't remember if I said it's 120 by 80 holy crap that's a big diamond painting huge um and as you can see she took the picture so that like her her whip in progress or work in progress I mean is um that, that would be funny her whip 
progress in progress so her whip in progress in progress um is on the bottom and then what it's supposed to look like is up on the top i really like how she did that so that you can get a really good idea of you know like where it's coming and how it's going she says this one is a square the glue is great so far and they are very bright and shiny um the canvas is really e easy to read and there's very little trash in the drills some of the diamonds have been stuck together, but it's not that big a deal. This has been, this is her favorite diamond painting that she has worked on so far. So she started this one on March 24th, um, but she says she hasn't worked straight through. Even if you had, girl, you are slaying it. 120 by 80. I have done nothing near that size. I'm wondering if this is um, part of the get your big on challenge or if she just chose this one just for the heck of it. Either way, Awesome and way to go, Jody! I am really looking forward to seeing this one all done, especially that big of a canvas. The detail in this is going to be unreal. This next one, Lacey's working on. I'm going to get try to try to get through everything she said um, without like having to read every single word. But um, so Lacey said that she honestly, in the beginning, wasn't a big fan of Mandy Manzano, um, but she wanted to give her pieces a try anyways and she says she couldn't be happier she said i love this one so far um she says she doesn't necessarily like the pictures online but it's absolutely stunning in person pictures don't just do it justice you gotta see it in person i totally agree now granted i do like the pictures online so that's how much more i like them in person and then when you make it into a diamond painting they're just stunning they really 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 are um she says looking at first uh first pieces to now she has come a long way i love her recent artwork i'm excited to do more by her in the future so we've got a new mandy pinsano die hard whoop whoop y'all know i'm a big mandy pinsano fan like love her to death um she says as far as the drills, she loves AB drills, so it's just an added bonus that this one has two ABs, and the white ones are pretty common, she says, but this one also has yellow, which is her favorite, so she's very, very happy about that. Um, she says the colors blend amazingly. You would think it's just a sparkly, normal painting, not made up of a ton of little beads, which that is what a diamond painting should look like. If you can tell that it's super pixelated, unless you're getting one for that reason, then it shouldn't look super pixelated. Now, there are some out there that are supposed to be like somewhat pixelated looking, and if that's like your style, that's great. But like a normal diamond painting like this shouldn't be looking overly pixelated so um she says diamond art club is top notch and maddie manzano is an amazing artist i agree with everything she said you guys i have this one in my stash um i think actually i might have given this one away or it's in my list of ones i'm going to be giving away at some time in the future but i love mandy manzano and i have so many of her pieces um and i continue to get more when she gets more in because they're just so awesome Michelle is doing Mad Kitty from Diamond Art Club. Um, she said she thinks it was $50. I think it was actually $54.99, um, but pretty dang close to $50. Anyways, you know, and honestly, she did not tell me the size of this. I don't remember. I think that this one is a 51 by 71 or it, it's in the 50, 70 range. <laughs> I just don't remember. Um, but the awesome thing about this one, you guys, this one has glow in the dark drills and they are black the black ones are glow in the dark so when you turn your lights off you actually see the outline of the cat and the mouth and everything it is so cool if you want to see this one like a little more in depth i actually just unboxed this one two weeks ago i think it was um so yeah totally you should check that out if you haven't seen it yet this one is amazing and granted they are out of stock right now but they will be getting more as they get supplies and this whole virus thing gets kind of under control um because right now everybody is short on supplies but they will be getting it back if you weren't one of the lucky ones that was able to get it Marcia is working on one worth melting for from Diamond Art Club. This is a 42 by 125 centimeters. It is $59.99 um, and she says this one has been a joy to work on. This is the one that 
one of the ones I actually don't have and if it wasn't so big I would totally be jumping in to get it because even though I'm not like a Frozen fanatic I love this dress. Her dress is so cool and it looks so fun to work on um but I have so many and they're these ones are just so big that I find it hard so all of you guys that complete like so many of these this size my hat's off to you so Marcia great job it looks like you're almost done and I cannot wait to see it all done and finished Okay, this next one is being worked on by Michelle. It is a 45 by 60 from AliExpress, and she paid $23 for it. Um, so this is what it's going to look like, y'all. And I know we've had this one before in Whip It Wednesday. Um, somebody else did this one, and I've said my, my opinion about it. I love scary movies. Like, they are my favorite to watch. I would watch one every day if I could. Um, but I would not want this clown peering down at me while I sleep. Like, no freaking way. Mm -mm -mm -mm. But I think it's going to turn out really good. The other one I saw did turn out really, really good. I just wouldn't personally want it on my wall. Um, but I can admire it from afar. So, I cannot wait to see yours done um, just to compare different sizes and stuff to see like detail and different places of where they got it to see how it's going to turn out differently or if it's going to turn out just the same. Susan is working on this ever moment. Um, it is Prima Donna Cat and it is 36 colors and cost $52.45 um, and the size is a 60 by 60. She says she is loving this painting but not because of the huge amount of confetti but because of all of the beautiful colors and well it's an ever moment. Um, yeah I'm sure this one has quite a bit of confetti um, just by how the detail looks and everything but I think it's going to be so so worth it. I love how even in the hat like the underneath of the hat has all of that detail. It is so cute. I love this cat. This one just melts my heart. Any painting of a cat, I love them. I just, they, I don't know. They just, their face, their little faces are so cute. Um, so Susan, I cannot wait. You are so close to being done. Looks like you just have a corner, but I know it is confetti filled. So, you know, the confetti ones, they do take longer, but they can be very, very worth it. And I think this one is going to be in that case. Amy is doing this one and it is a 30 by 40 so she said just a little snack size while she waits for her biggies to come in. Uh, she said it's a fun and a confetti fest. <laughs> I love that. It's, it's a confetti fest. Um, that's a great way to describe all the confetti in some of these paintings. However, because it's a 30 by 40, I think without the confetti, you wouldn't have all the detail you do. Because honestly, when I first looked at this, I thought it was bigger because it does have so much detail in it. So I think that it's really, really coming out well because of all of the confetti. And because it's a 30 by 40, I would think it wouldn't drive you so crazy because it's not like a huge painting where it's just like confetti hell. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I love this one. This one reminds me of summer because of all the, the flowers and the birds. And it's, it's just a really cute way. I think that putting like wildflowers um, and using a mason jar for the vase is adorable. Especially if you like add a little like ribbon around that mason jar. Yes, please. They're so pretty and so cute. I remember doing these with my kids when they were little. So this one kind of brings back the memories. Um, so thank you so, so much, Amy, for sending this one in. I hope you finish it soon and that you get your biggies in the mail soon. All right, Casey is really, really uh, close to being done with this one. This one is a 45 by 85 centimeters, and it's from Hibba Hibba on AliExpress. <laughs> I love that name. I think it's so fun. Um, and this one only costs $12.60, y'all. That's a really, really good price for a 45 by 85. Yeah, very, very good price, especially if it's good quality. She says that she's really liking it so far, but the drills are a little dirty. So when she's done, she's going to have to like wipe it down with a couple baby wipes. Um, I have had that before, actually, where my drills were like there was like dirt in them for some reason. It was really, really weird. It's only happened to me once. Hope it doesn't happen to me again. Um, she says that, uh, besides that, though, there's no trash in the drills um, and the drills are really, really nice. 
She says that the canvas in some places isn't quite as sticky as she's used to. Um, but that's okay. And she says she's going to focus really heavily on this painting so that she can get it done in a few days. It's turning out really, really good. I love that bridge, like that cobblestone look. And look in the water. There's those two little swans. So cute. And the flowers are beautiful. I'm really like anxious to kind of see what's under the um, wax paper because you can't really see it. It looks like maybe there's like a, a part of a house back there or something. Um, yeah, so hopefully next week or actually she'll probably be done by next week. So hopefully we can see this one in finished Friday so that I can kind of see what's behind that wax paper. Okay, Kayla got this one as a gift. This is Lumina by Diamond Art Club, and the artist is uh, Micah Jelena. I think that's how you pronounce it. And it is a 50 by 70, and has 37 colors with three ABs. She thinks that it was about $59.99, but, you know, it was a gift. So um, I don't remember this price because I personally do not have this one in my stash, but look how great it is turning out. This one is so sparkly. I love some of the darker images from Diamond Art Club that have like the sparkle like like star look in them and because to me it really looks like they are lit up. They're so stinking pretty. Her outfit in this is like has that really sparkly effect to it. Um, I love all of her rings on her hands and her jewelry and everything. Um, there's just so much detail behind this one. Um, she says... She loves how it's turning out. It's turning out beautiful. But her grandbaby dropped a bunch of drills. And it was all of the ABs. So she's going to have to invest in one of those little vacuums. So that she can get those all up. But she said she finally has a good tray coming. And this is a full square painting. This one was also sent in by Kayla. It is upside down. Um, and she obviously can't show what's under there. Because she's got those white papers on top of it. Um, but this one is a 52 by 70. It has 33 colors and this one is lips like morphine. Um, and the, the artist in this one is Mandy Manzano, who I absolutely love. This is one of Mandy Manzano's that I don't have. I kind of wish I did, but I don't have it. I have seen this one done though, you guys. It is stunning when it is finished. Uh, she's working on this one as part of a collab with, um, Amber from Amber's Diamond Painting. And if those two message me their links to their YouTube channels, I will try to get those in the description below. So if you want to go check them out, um, and maybe see more of them working on this piece, what they're doing with it, and all that good stuff. Um, she did say, however, that they are living the 310 life. This one has three or four bags of um, different shades of red. So it's going to be so, so beautiful. And it is discontinued, I think. Um, I don't think that they have any more. They did discontinue a bunch of their old ones because they didn't fit into standard frame sizing, which is, I love that they're actually, Diamond Art Club is going that way though, where you can actually get a frame, just a normal frame and not have to get a custom every single time, um, which is why a lot of their older paintings are not available anymore. Uh, but Kayla, thank you so much for sending both of those in. I greatly appreciate it, and I'm super excited to see both of them finished. Jennifer has this one um, from Diamond Art Club. It is Kiwi, and it is a 47 by 59 round, and it has three ABs, and she says, so very cute so far. Um, I think this one is absolutely adorable. Um, I love the style of this one. There's a lot of mermaids out there, but nothing like this. I love all the big pieces of fruit and the all the kiwi pieces um, in the background. All in all, this one is adorable. It's turning out super cute. I love the ABs in it. It looks like they're in the fin, like the white maybe surrounding her fin um, down there. That's just my guess from what I can see so far. Uh, but hopefully when it's all done, we'll get a different picture and have it either for the progression next week or finished Friday next month. Bethany is working on this one. The title of this one is Girls with Flowers. Um, yeah, it should be like girl with flowers in her hair because this one has so much 
flowers in her hair. This is what it's going to look like, you guys, when it's all done. Um, this one comes to her from EM Fun Store on AliExpress. AliExpress, which is a sister store from Evermoment. Um, this is a 60 by 60 and it is a square painting. It has 44 colors and cost her $29 and 16. Well, actually it was a euros. I apologize. Not dollars, euros. Uh, she says she thinks it's turning out really, really well. She is express, especially impressed with the skin tone and how realistic it's turning out. And she says she cannot wait to leave all the blue color blocking behind and get into her confetti heaven. She does say the drills smell a little weird. So I have not had it where the drills smell weird, but I have had one where the canvas smells so strong. I didn't even want to work on it. Like if I work on that canvas, I'm not going to say what it is, but I'll have to definitely air that one out. But anyways, um, so she is one of those who doesn't like color blocking and loves confetti. It seems like it's it's one or the other. Most people aren't both. They don't usually love color blocking and confetti. I'm not saying that they don't. I'm not saying they're not out there. It's just from everybody I've talked to, it's either one or the other. But um, personally, I am a color blocker. But I'm okay with the confetti as long as it's it's going to make the picture turn out really good. And it's not all confetti because, whoo, I've done those though. I've done them, guys. I've done a pretty big one. I did a 60 by 70 that was full of confetti because it was actually a photo. It was a custom. So anyways, um, this one is turning out really good and I am excited to see it done. I'm really excited to start to see those flowers. Elizabeth is working on this one from Huacan. This is a 45 by 60 and she paid $24.73 uh, back in February. She says it's looking beautiful but a bit of popping but nothing to make me stop working on it. Um, you know unfortunately with Huacan I've heard that over and over again that they have popping drills. I've heard that they've gotten better um, but I don't I have not personally worked on one from them again. The very first one I did was a while ago and yes it was popping drills like we were having a popcorn party it was insane and um I didn't even finish that one but she said that's they're not so bad that she's gonna stop working on it so that's good um it does look like this one's gonna be like super filled with confetti because of all of that detail it is turning out really good I love 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 all of these colors in all of the flowers and the trees and everything um it is so pretty there are so many um lighthouse pictures this one is a little different this is what it's going to turn out when it's all done or what it's going to look like when it's all done um i'm loving that the house is behind it as well just not the lighthouse because most of them are it's like just the lighthouse so i love this one i love those clouds in the background the sky everything about this one is just really really beautiful I am so excited about this one that Paula is doing. Um, this one, the title is Sasha and Jet. It is by Hannah Lynn from Diamond Art Club. I have this one in my stash, you guys, and I'm so excited to eventually work on it. Um, she purchased it for $49.99. It is a 55 by 77, and there are 37 colors with two ABs, which are both blue. Uh, she said, I replaced the whites in the eyes for the leftover 141 ABs, and we'll do the same on the dragon. Um, Diamond Art Club did an amazing job with the colors, and she's really, really enjoying it. Come to life through the drills. And the mermaid tail with this one, you guys, is almost all ABs. Now, granted, she has not finished that mermaid tail, but if you look at that left bottom corner where it is, you can see how many ABs are there. It is so shimmery and shiny. It really looks the way a mermaid tail should look. Um, I love that she did just a little customizing and used some white ABs for the eyes to make her eyes really, really just stand out. I think that's great. I love her hair. I love her colors of her hair. And her face is beautifully done. Um, Hannah Lynn is awesome. Like, I absolutely adore Hannah Lynn's paintings. I really, really do. I have every single one that Diamond Art Club has came out with. Um, she is probably, she's she's one of my top, top artists that I like to do um, as far as diamond painting goes. And one of my favorite things about this one is her face. She has the sweetest face and her eyes and everything. Oh, I just, I love it so much. 
All right, we've got another Diamond Art Club that Kay is working on. This one is titled Home Sweet Home. It is from, uh, obviously, like I said, Diamond Art Club. It's a 32 by 32, so it's one of their smaller pieces. Uh, this is a square. It has seven colors and it has one AB, and it cost her $19.99. This is her first square from Diamond Art Club, she says, and she's absolutely loving it. Um, and this is going to be a gift for her brother-in-law and his wife. Uh, they recently just bought a condo in Davenport, Florida. So this is going to be a great gift for them. Um, it's not just a, you know, uh, what do you say, like a thoughtless gift, I guess. I mean, not trying to say there are like thoughtless gifts because everything you really have to think about. But this is one that is like above and beyond where you're taking the time to work on it. And even though it's only a 32 by 32, it still takes time to do. So I love it. I think they're going to love it. Um, and congratulations to them for getting a condo in Devonport, Florida. Lisa is working on this one, you guys. This one, and she says, excuse that like whitish area at the bottom um it's that's just sealer she's put down that just hasn't dried yet uh this is a 150 by 120 whoo whoo girl ah uh, nope 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 I don't think I could do it I really really don't um I don't think I have the patience for this but I think it's awesome that you do Awesome, awesome, awesome. This is, um, it was a custom and it was a gift, so she's not sure how much it cost. And this is the first custom she's got from um, this particular store, she didn't say, that has had problems. All the other ones, she has not had any problems, but this one, she says, the symbols aren't clear, the drills are different shades, and are popping so bad that she's having to seal them, like, section by section. And it is a square drill. So, Unfortunately, um, when you get a piece that's that's like this, it's the magnitude of this size. You can't finish the whole thing before you seal it because by the time you're done with it, you know, the other sections you've already done are popping and popping and popping. So I think this is a great technique. I think this is a... Um, you can tell that she's done this before. She's diamond painted a lot and she knows what to do because if you have a painting this size, you have got to seal it section by section. So this one is going to look, this is how it's going to turn out, you guys. Um, uh-huh, yes, I I'll take it. Oh, my hand's up for this one. Um, any one with these dudes in it, um... Yes, it was really funny. When I was putting this one in last night, it was raining. And I came inside because it started to rain when I was, because I was working on this while I was walking around outside. Anyways, I came in and I was singing the song, you know, it's raining men, because that's what this made me think of. Yes, I know, I know, I'm a weirdo, but hey, that's why you love me. Um, <laughs> anyways, Lisa, uh, good luck as you continue to work on this one. I am sorry you're having those struggles with those drills, but keep at it. This is going to be awesome. Rachel is working on this next one. This is Cassia. Um, it is by Diamond Art Club and it is a 56 by 71 and cost $49.99. Um, I don't remember what the rest of this looks like, to be honest with you. Um, I think it's been a while since this one came out. Um, I remember seeing it when it came out, but I know there's, you know, another another section of it but I do love this section I love the hat she's wearing and I think her hair is going to turn out really really good um I think this one has a lot of color blocking it looks like I don't know the artist of this one but I am excited to kind of see how this one unfolds because I can't remember how the second bottom like the the bottom of this turns out so hopefully we can get a progression uh photo next week this next one is a dreamer design that Sarah is working on. It is a Chuck Pinson, um, and the title of this one is Seaside Dreams. It is a 60 by 90, and it costs her approximately $100 um, in Canada, Canadian, Canadian, woo, wow, okay, Canadian money. Uh, she says that she'll have this one all done by Friday. You go, girl. Um, she says she's really enjoying this one a lot more than she did at the beginning of it. She's had some symbol issues that are challenging, but as she's progressed through the painting, she's kind of learned which are which. Um, the drills are excellent quality, and she says she's looking forward to seeing 
Um, what else Dreamer Design has up their sleeve? Uh, yeah, the challenging symbols. I had the same thing with the Dreamer Design I'm working on. I actually ran out of, uh, like three colors, so I'm actually waiting to get those from them until I can finish my Dreamer Design. However, the challenging symbols, girl, I know what you mean. Um, I, I don't know if the exact same thing is your case, but, like, in my case, the symbols, there were, like, some that were the same symbol, just, like, a little bit different, and it made it really really challenging um especially when you first start working on it like I made a huge boo-boo but the my the one I'm working on is a lot of color blocking um it's it's a it's weird it's like a confetti color blocking I guess you could say I don't know even how to describe it but this one I mean it's a Chuck Pinson so you know this one is like Con well, depending on who you are, it is either confetti hell or confetti heaven. <laughs> Just depends on if you like confetti or not. Um, but anyways, I'm excited to see this one all done. So thank you, Sarah, for sending this one in. Ariel is working on this one, you guys. This is also from Dreamer Design. I wanted to get this one, to be honest, when I picked out my Dreamer Design, but so many people were doing it that that's why I decided to do the other one. Plus, the other one that I'm doing is a lion, and my last name is Lion, so, you know, it kind of decided for me. But um, I absolutely love the colors in this one. It's so bright and so beautiful. The kit name is Lucky Koi, and the dimensions are to 40 by 40. 50. It is a square drill. All of Dreamer Designs paintings are square. They do not do rounds. So if you do not like square uh, paintings, you would not like going to Dreamer Design. And this one has 31 colors with two ABs. It was $39.99. Shipping was $69. So you know, about $47 and something, something change. She purchased this one on April 16th and got it on April 20th. So it definitely uh, came really quickly. The shipping was great, which I totally agree with that. Um, I got mine really fast. I was actually surprised how fast mine came. Um, and even though, you know, with everything going on out there, hers came pretty fast too. I mean, four days, you guys, that's, that's pretty good. Uh, she started this one on May 8th. So this is the whole picture, what it's going to look like when it's all done. Um, so it's super bright and super beautiful. I'm excited to see this one done and, and I want to hear your thoughts. I'm really interested to hear um, like as many thoughts as I can from different people when they finished one from Dreamer 2.0. I've heard a lot of thoughts from them or about them just by unboxing them, but I really want to hear from people that have finished their Dreamer Design 2.0. Hey, it's my turn. And yes, you guys, I know I usually am holding my camera um, when I'm doing this. So if it's a little bit wobbly, I do apologize. Um, I am working on this one. This one is from Treasure Studio Arts. And I am absolutely loving every single second of it. Except for the fact that I am like fixing um, the words because I wanted them to look a little bit different and so the only part I'm not enjoying is having to you know pull up what I already did and then the fact that like literally about two minutes before um, I came to do this video I picked up this tray that I had accidentally put down like I thought I had put it right here but I had actually put it right here and this canvas is so sticky you guys and it was stuck and so in order to pull it off like I accidentally spilt a couple of the drills and so now I'm having to go back and like pick all of those drills up off the canvas which isn't a big deal because they spilt so they're not like stuck on there or anything like hard they're they come up pretty easily but anyways um I am changing the words because I wanted to use what I wanted to do basically was instead of having that confetti look like this um for the words I wanted them to be like a solid color on the inside and then like outline. So basically, um, I'm using the blue that is the, the solid color, the dark, dark blue, 823, um, for the outline, which is what it was going to be anyways. And then I'm using the eight, these ABs for the inside of it. Um, I think it's turning out really, really good so far. I'm not sure what I'm going to do, to be honest, when I get up here. 
um, when I get up into this, these words, I might go and do a different AB because this is all already blue. So the blue on blue might not look as good as it does in the purple. Um, and so I'm just, because like right here, you know, is what it would look like because it would be all like that though up here. So I'm going to have to figure out what color I'm going to use on the inside of these drills, but Nonetheless, I think it's going to turn out absolutely amazing, you guys. Rachel did an amazing job at this one. Um, my daughter has actually been working on this one, too, with me. She really likes it. And so um, here is the diamond right here, which is beautiful. And um, I'm switching out all of the whites for the sparklers, which are these. And so it's going to shine like the top of a Christmas tree, guys. This is going to be so shiny and so beautiful. I'm in love with these drills, you guys. These drills, these are rounds, but they look almost like a square because they're little. So they fit together really nicely. Um, one of my favorite part about squares is how they snap together. And these rounds do that. Now, granted... I, there are some squares on this painting. Not from her, but this is just a thing I am just trying out. And so, sorry, I had to pick up something really quick before I showed you. But anyways, the inside of the letters, these are actually squares. Hard to tell the difference, but they are. So the reason that they are squares is because her rounds are smaller. So I couldn't just grab anything from my stash in my rounds and use it. But the squares are the same size as her rounds. So I just, and this is the first time I've ever done this where I have mixed round and squares together. But honestly, I think it looks really cool. Like, it's, you know, there's a first for everything, and I think with crafts, it's fun to, like, try different things um, and just see. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. But for me, I like it. I think it works. So I'm going to continue to finish this whole word um, with this, this style that I did here and see how it looks. Um, but I am so excited for this one, you guys. This is probably my all-time favorite diamond painting that I've got. Not just because of the design, but because I love all the drills. And I love the way Rachel did this. Um, I sent her a picture of my logo and said, hey, can you do something with this? And you guys... I take my hat off for her because she worked it out. It is amazing. If you have a custom, I suggest going to her. Um, this is, again, Rachel from Studio or Treasure Studio Arts. And this, the size of this one is a 70 by 40, which I think it's a perfect size. And you um, can actually, I've had requests for this kit, and you can actually get this particular kit now. It is up in her shop. I will try to remember to link it in the description. So if you were one of those that asked me if you could get this particular kit, you can absolutely get this kit now. Um, and it is beautiful, you guys. Like I, I'm so excited to get this one worked on. I've been swamped with work, to be honest with you. So this week, um, it's Wednesday, and I have only worked on this painting for about 20 minutes this week, just because like I said, I've had over 100 orders that I'm trying to fill and I'm trying to get them out in a good timely manner. So I haven't had near as much time to diamond paint, but I'm getting there. I'm getting there slowly, but surely I, I am a getting there. So um, thank you guys so much for watching another week's of Whip It Wednesday. I appreciate every single one of you that participates in this video. I cannot do this video without you. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And don't forget, as always, you are braver than you believe, stronger than you seem smarter than you think you are definitely loved more than you know so keep on shining and i will see you next time bye guys thank you for watching and if you haven't already and would like to subscribe don't forget to hit that subscribe button below and the bell icon to be notified when i put up a new video